Hello everyone and welcome to this video tutorial. Um, here I'll be teaching you how you can use a, a pretty nice and pretty sophisticated library and um, lo and behold this is going to be my first video tutorial on programming Delphi uh, or programming on the, in Delphi yeah. Uh, this I just um, actually went into Delphi like roughly 48 hours ago so yeah <laughs> I just jumped in Delphi and then um, it is a pretty nice language I won't go over all the topics about Delphi but it's a pretty good language I mean um, it's not very it's not it's not it's not it's not it's not spoken that often um, uh, lately However, it has its um, it has its up and down, ups and downs, just like every other single language. And and uh, well, so far I really liked it. And um, this is going to be my actual first tutorial on a foreign language that I have <laughs> never touched before. And another actual topic that I actually never did, and was to hook functions. Uh, and. Uh, so this is going to be a completely new approach on this um, video tutorial and let's see how it goes. Um, I went already and to not make myself look like a complete retard or something, I already did a project uh, working on hooks and I already saw the sample and everything and whatever and whatnot. So I, f I know how to fairly get get there with hooks <laughs> especially hooking on but yep um well first we're gonna do is that we're gonna have a form with three buttons we're gonna have our uh, one button called hook exit process another button called the call exit process and then on the th third and last button called um unhook exit process now our core hooking is gonna be Pretty simple. We're gonna declare our hooked exit process API skeleton. It's gonna be a function, and uh, we're gonna initiate our hooked exit process API skeleton. I forgot that, but you get it. You get it. Now our buttons procedure is gonna be laid out as the following: our button hook exit process is gonna be hooking our legit process exit process, and is gonna make a trampoline to our hooked exit process API. It sound it sounds um, complicated, but it's not. Once you see how easy it is to hook and unhook functions, hook and unhook and hook functions, um, sorry, but you'll see how 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 easy it's gonna be and how quick you can hook any Win32 API function. <coughs> now our button call exit process is gonna do actually that. Um, call the legit exit process because obviously we have to test it somehow so that's gonna be our test case or test scenario and then last but not least our but our button unhook un unhook exit process is gonna be actually unhooking and cleaning our exit process um, trampoline so um, without further ado let's start but before you are going to need these library this is a Delphi Detours library, which I am going to be um, linking in the video description box below this video. And I want you to get these um, um, uh, library and put it somewhere comfortable. Um, it has some nice features, supports x86 and x86, uh, x64 architectures. So thumbs up for that. Um, Allow us calling the arena function via trampoline function, support for multi hook, etc. etc. Um, it's pretty amazing. And um, so far, I, I haven't really gotten that deep into it. I just, like I said, I'm fairly new to all this and I'm actually starting with this. This is actually my breaking ice points. Um, uh, on this very same video tutorial. Okay, now 
once you get that, it's downloaded to a somewhere comfortable. Maybe you have a second hard drive or an SSD or something or an H HD for for data or something. I have it in my in my second hard drive. Just put it somewhere comfortable. Maybe that you have a comfortable place that you that you always um, work with. Uh, for example, I have it here. Um, coding stuff, my libraries, and this is where I put all the coding, coding stuff. And for example, Delphi, I'm starting to build my Delphi libraries. So, <laughs> um, this is where I actually have it. So, I have it here, I have it here, I go sources, and then you have everything here that you need. Next, uh, we are going to go to actually to. I have it, I have it open here already prepared. This is the uh, Delphi 10 Seattle. And uh, yeah, are you first gonna do? I mean, it is gonna work and with any IDE as long as it is, I guess it's XE plus. I don't know if you have XE 7, XE 8, whatever, it's I, I, it pretty positive it's gonna work. Um, yeah, what are you gonna be creating is a form, a simple form. I'm gonna actually skin it down a little bit or scale it down. I should have said that. Uh, make it size tool window because we don't actually want to resize it. And I'll call, um, oops, call, um, hook exit process test. Oh, well, whatever you want. Hooking test. Yeah, why not? Hooking test, why, why not? Now, first you're gonna go to tools, um, options, and then go to Embarcadero, I think it is, and then libraries. Yep, over here, I have it here. Now go to 32-bit environment and set it up there. Um, you gotta set it up here. Once it's set, it's, it's set your sources to the Delphi Detroit library just click OK yeah, I did that already so you know um, next um, we're actually going to follow our layouts and let us drive through through that okay now we need three buttons Our button is going to be modify prefix. Three button call on Okay, hook. Hook's going to be the first one. Hook exit process. Oops. Process. And then um, another one. Call exit. Process. Put it over here. We got a nice and neat. And then the third one. It's gonna be my exit process. Oh, that's good. Anyways, whatever. Now scale it down. Keep it, keep scaling it down a little bit. And here we have a little nice um, uh, form. Now we can go ahead and now start coding the core of our, our little program here. Alright, let's get up to it. Um, I'm going to do this because if I save now, it's going to delete um, the functions. So I'm going to be doing this. And save it there. Save everything. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead again. And since it's, it's deleting every time I save, I'm just gonna go over here. And uh, now if I save, it doesn't remove them. Now the last and only thing that we it's missing 
that we are missing before working with the detours is actually calling the detours package for a library. Let me see how much time I have. Okay, 10 minutes. Now it's time to start working on the on the implementation of the core uh, core hooking. First, we gotta declare our hook exit process API skeleton, which I'm going to do the following way: function and then um, cardinal. integer because it is actually it doesn't takes um well actually yeah it takes um you exit code and it asks it for a cardinal if you call it if you call it so uh that's why we're gonna clear it with our integer cardinal here now this is going to be a p void of uh, a cd call we're gonna nail it um, because this is going to be a standard call um, convention, um, yeah, calling convention. Now we are ready to do our function, um, and now this is going to be a little bit um, tweaked. Now we're going to put my exit process process exit. I I don't know what I was thinking when I. <laughs> And then we're gonna pass the same parameters. Oops, hope I can spell in here. And begin and end. All right, so here we have our skeleton. Oops. All right. And then std call. Okay. Now, here we have our skeleton um, working. This is going to be empty because um, whenever we we do the trampoline to our exit, our hooked exit process, we don't actually want to be returning anything. So our result is gonna be literally nothing or no. Or I don't think if I can actually do this, but result nil, and that's it. Um, other than that, let's see how it goes. Um, I can change it anyway. So, so this is going to be basically our. Um, the trampoline is gonna jump to here. And we're gonna be returning anything. I mean, we we're not gonna re we're not gonna be returning nothing. I should have said that. I mean, my grammar is horrible. Just don't. <laughs> we are not gonna return nothing. I, I mean, we are gonna return nothing. <laughs> what am I saying? Oh gosh. <coughs> All right, let's keep on going. No, we now we actually have to call exit process um, with a cardinal zero. Oops. Yep. So it calls exit process with its exit code. Um, call exit process. Okay, call exit process. Hook. Okay, now here is going to be our hook. Um. We did this already, which is called the legit exit process, and now we're going to hook the legit exit process and do a trampoline to our hook exit process API. Now the words and uh, the way that it works is um, we have to first check um, we gotta first check if it um, if this is assigned. Um, I mean, sorry, if it is not a sign, so if it doesn't contains, uh, if it doesn't return with a nil value, it means that it has a value. So if it's not returning with, with, with something, we are good to go. So we can actually hook it. 
So, so we do it this way. So if not assign hook exit process, then um, hook exit process with a pointer to it, and now we're gonna call intercept intercept create, and now we gotta pass pointer to the exit process and a pointer to our or my my exit process and that should do it and that's it we can put a message box here saying that oh we hooked the um blah 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 yada yada but you know it's up to you um now we gotta unhook it and clean it up so if a sign Um, then what we're gonna do is um, intercept. Whoops! Yeah, let's remove, remove, and then this is gonna be the trampling pointer, which is going to be our hooked process, and. Um, And now um, we actually assign a process to nail. So we remove our trampoline and then we clean our our um, our tracks, our our tracks over here. So now it's, everything is ready. So let's see how it goes. Um, just for sake of this video tutorial, I'm just, nah, never mind. I'm gonna do message boxes, fancy message boxes. <laughs> okay, I always forget that F9 here is the, um, is the actual key um, key press um, hotkey for pausing um, Camtasia Studio from recording. <laughs> actually, yeah, 20 minutes, not bad. <laughs> So let's actually try to do it manually here. Let's run. Hope that we don't have any errors, and we don't have any errors. Now, let's hook exit process. Well, let's actually let's actually call it. Okay, as you can see, it called it. It um, it exit. It called the exit process, and it exited. Exit, yeah. Now let's actually hook it call it and as you can see it's not doing anything at all it's it's returning nothing which is actually doing nothing <laughs> so that's good that's good and the cool thing is that it, this is actually hooking the exit process function um, so whenever we try to call it it's actually returning like it's calling nothing you know and uh, now let's try to unhook it, unhook it, and call the legit exit process. And as you can see, it closed down. All right. Let's see. Now let's build a release, and let's see. Let's try to go a little bit deeper and see what's going on. On. Um, it's actually making it. It's actually making it um, do that. Okay. Let's go join Explorer. It will open up and release Project One X sixty four DBG. Great debugger. Great, great debugger. Um, you know, it's it's constant development. I mean, I really like it. It's my top pick for debuggers, next to all the DBG and uh, Wing DBG and whatever. <laughs> okay, it's forgot. I just forgot. I just forgot. I keep forgetting. 
All right. Um, <clears throat> let's first let's go to. Exit <laughs> And here's our <coughs> exit process. As you can see, real nice and neat. And let's try to. Find references to address. No reference to that. For references to selected address, nothing. Okay, so it doesn't take a reference. That's not anything that's calling it. But anyways, let's try to hook it and let's see what's what's happening. As you can see, it, it didn't even change. Oh well, it did. I'm noticing some weird behavior. Um. Yeah, there we go. Um, let's follow up and let's put a breakpoint over here and now let's call the trampoline as you can see it went over here and instead of just following over here now it's taking us to this jump let's follow up what this jump does and as you can see it's just returning nothing it's just returning it's returning plane not it just it's it's no and um, let's just take the knob, NLP, and uh, take a jump. And we're here back to where? Back to back to back. So as you can see, it didn't call the exit process. It just returned to these two returns, and then returning now to the regular control flow of the program. So now let's just continue. Oops. And now let's unhook. And let's refresh. And here we have it. Our regular um, exit process. Uh, now we're going to call exit process. Put in a breakpoint. And as you can see, it hit your breakpoint and now it's going to actually um, call to the NTO kernel, I guess. Yeah, NTDLL um, exit process. Um, I, I guess this is it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Sorry that it took so long. It's uh, 22 minutes. Um, uh, yeah, hope you liked it. If you liked, uh, if you like this content, um, thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to see more videos. And whenever they come out, um, you're gonna be notified. And yeah, that's it. Um, I'm going to be uploading more videos um, on Delphi since I'm actually learning it and all this stuff. I'm pretty submerged, submerged in, um, submerged. I was, I should say, submerged into it. So. Um, let's see what comes up. Um, what comes up next? All right. See ya. Bye bye.